this video, I'll show you how you can quickly stylize textures in Blender. It's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by downloading a texture. You can find them for free in the description. And then unzip the zip file. So extract to folder. And then we're going to Blender. And I'm just going to turn this into a sphere. So um, let's add some uh, subdivisions. I'm going to set it to uh, six levels and apply the modifier. Press tab for edit mode and shift alt S then one. Okay, now we have the perfect sphere. And then we can go into the shader editor and then make sure in the preferences under add-ons to have the node wrangler add-on enabled. So that we can just go into node wrangler and then select all the images from the unzipped folder. And as you can see, the Node Wrangler add-on sets up all of the nodes automatically. And then next we can add some lighting. So I'm just going to add a sun, set the strength to five. As you can see, we now have the texture. And then you can change the color of the background if you want to. And then I'm going to switch to cycles and use the GPU if you have one. If not, just keep using the CPU. And then if you want to, you can also add a background image to uh, get some more advanced lighting. And then I'm going to hide the background image. And now we can start editing the texture. So uh, let's make it a bit more stylized by adding some extra nodes. So press Shift A. So uh, let's first add a matte node. And then you can set it between the roughness and the principal node. And by doing that, you can control the roughness while still keeping the roughness map. Okay, and then you can press Shift A and let's add a color ramp, which you can use to control the colors of the texture. So you can make it red and black, for example. You can also take advantage of the values that you find inside the principal node. So we'll play around with the specular value, for example. So as you can see, by just adding a color ramp and adding some additional math multiplication nodes, you can drastically change the way the texture looks. To uh, stylize the look even further, you can also add some uh, texture nodes, like for example, the Voronoi texture node, and then play around with the values and combining it with the color ramp. And then in between, we can add a noise texture. So uh, to stylize your textures, you just add some different nodes and some color ramps, and you can very easily get a very different looking texture.